he could be balanced. 5332 with 13 points. But yes, those are the kinds of things we're looking for. There's some other things you know. How do you know he has few diamonds? Okay, you can put an upper limit on his hand. 22 or somewhere thereabouts for what, whatever you think would be a two club opening. Okay, yes, you have four diamonds, but that doesn't mean that South couldn't have a bunch. Okay, good, Christina. He doesn't have a suit longer than spades. He has no six card suit. Six cards are longer. So that's a definite, assuming again he's bidding normally, where you open your longest suit first, he doesn't have a six card suit. Long, at least he doesn't have a suit longer than spades. Could be six six I suppose. So he doesn't have a suit longer than spades. That's important information. What else can you think of? Someone said he doesn't have five hearts. Okay, he could have five hearts because as long as it's not longer than spades, he could have. First seat vulnerable. I don't know what you mean by a true opener, but first seat vulnerable, I have opened nine high card points and a lot of distribution value. Does he have to have an honor in spades? He doesn't have to, but what's the most spade honors he could have? The best spade suit he could have would be headed by the king, queen, ten. North and east have at most three spades between amongst them, right? Not three, but at most three. So you see there's a lot of information there beyond the obvious five spades and an opening hand. Okay, so North makes a one no bid. What do we know about North Sand? Everything we can tell from about North Sand. Okay, how many of you play two over one? Because that's basically what you need to know that for this. And I'm looking down through the profiles of the people who are answering this question, and almost all of them say two over one on them. Okay. In two over one, a one no trump bid can be made on zero to 12 points. Not six to 12, that's sta standard American. In one no forcing it can be zero to 12. Somebody who plays two over one pretty well, tell me, how do you make a four card limit raise in spades? It goes one spade pass and you want to make a four card limit raise. You bid three spades. Right, one spade, three spades. Forget Bergen and all that other stuff. No Bergen, no Bergen. Just talking about standard two over basic vanilla two over one. All right, 
If one spade, three spades shows a four card limit raise, how do you show a three card limit raise? You bid one no forcing and then three spades. Good, that's exactly right. That's a three card limit raise. So now tell me, can North have three card support? Yes, you could have three spades. Can he have four card spade support? Yes, he can even have that if he has a very weak hand. What is the option one spade, one no trump, two clubs, two spades show? It shows a very weak hand, right? with two plus spades. Could be a doubleton spade. It could be three or four spades with an extremely weak hand. So you don't know much about North spade suit at all. There's a lot of different reasons for using a one no forcing bid. But you do know he's limited to 12 points. So he does not have a game forcing hand. If the opponents pass and the auction goes one spade, opponents are passing, one no trump, two clubs by the opener, two spades. That is a very weak bid. Sometimes a doubleton club with even as much as seven or eight points, sometimes three or more spades, I'm sorry, not doubleton club, doubleton spade, sometimes three or more spades, but with only three or four points. Okay, so don't know really much about North Spades, but we do know that he didn't want no Trump to limit his hand. Okay, now what do we know about South Sand? South has at least four hearts, could have five, can't have more spades than hearts, but he, it, even six six is allowed. But the basic hand would be five or six spades and four hearts. <coughs> All right, if South has five spades and four hearts, how many cards does he have in the minors? And how are those four minor suit cards split? Well, they could be 4-0, he could have a void. They could be 3-1, or they could be 2-2. Those are the only possibilities. So already you can visualize South's hand as at least five spades, at least four hearts, and one of those combinations of the minors. And if he has five hearts, it's even a, a two one or a three zero minor suit holding. So yeah, you know there's four cards in the minors, or even maybe three, but whatever, four cards in the minors. Visualize the different ways they could be split. What could his minor suit holdings be? Four oh, three one, two two. How many points does South show? He's limited his hand to about 15, right? Now 
Yeah, 17, I would be making jump shifts, but up to maybe 16. Okay, now I'm going to change this. What if South bids three hearts? What does that change? Now he's got 16, 17 plus, right? South's holding is now, let's say, 16 to 19 points. Some of that could be distribution points. It doesn't have to be all high cards. But so he's got something like 16 or 17 up to 19 or maybe even 20 points, up to whatever he would make a two club bid with. Um, excuse me for just a minute, please. Sorry, I have a family member that was hurt. And I just want to make sure that was nothing terrible. Okay, so um, so let's. This is actually the correct bid for South. So you have to notice that the difference that you've just made in South's hand with this jump bid. That's going to change what North will do. Okay, so now we know that South is at least 5-4 in the majors, at most 4 in the minors, and has a holding somewhere up in the 17 to 20 point range. He doesn't have to have 5 hearts. Doesn't have to be 5-5 five, five for this bid, so it could be 5-4, or even 6-4, something like that. All right, now what do we know about North Sand? Okay, let's be more specific. Doesn't have support for the hearts or spades. How many spades could North have? North cannot have more than two spades, or he would have made the raise. He can't have more than three hearts, or he would be raising hearts. That means the most that North can have in the majors is five cards, meaning not even that many, but the most he could have is five, which means he has at least eight cards in the minors. At least eight cards in the Myers. So that means North Sand must look like something like two, three, four, four, two, three, five, three, something like that. Okay, Mary, so now you're making some inferences from this. Because you have four diamonds, and North probably has at least three, maybe four, even more diamonds. That leaves fewer for South to have. Has North changed the val have, Has North told you any more about the value of his hand points? Not specifically, no, but if North had, let's say, two spades and three hearts and no points, no stoppers of any sort in the minors, what would he have bid? Let's give South, uh, North a hand like this.
what would you bid after three hearts? You might very well pass three hearts. You might very well bid three spades. If I give you doubleton, doubleton, something like that, you would definitely correct a spades. You wouldn't be bidding three no trump with nothing in either minor. Knowing your partner is going to be short in the minors. Okay, so we can rule that hand out. North doesn't have that hand. North must have some kinds of stoppers. in the minors. Well, that's a good question. Would he bid one no with that? Or would he just pass one spade? I don't know. Maybe. I'll give him a I'll tell you what, I'll give him a queen of diamonds. How's that? Then he's got enough to bid. So North has not only limited his hand in, in um, points, but he's also telling us more about his distribution than the obvious. He doesn't have more than two spades. He doesn't have more than three hearts. But he's still got some stuff in the minors. He doesn't have a zero-point hand. If he had a zero-point hand, he'd be going back. He'd be passing three hearts and going back to three spades. So he has stoppers in the minors. So now we can set his point count as something more like 6 to 12. All right, now, south is promised somewhere around, let's just take a number like 18 as a, a middle-of-the-road number, with his three-heart bid. If north had 12, that would give him 30. That's really not enough for slam. So we really can't, um, can't limit his hand to less than 12. He could still have 12 points and bid this way. All right, now what do we know? Mona, that's a good question. He might. If he had only one minor stopped, he might. But remember, he knows that his partner, now he knows his partner doesn't even have, uh, ha has at least 10 cards in minors. But even when he thought he had nine cards in the minors, he still only left four, uh, sorry, in the majors, left four cards in the minors. So there's not such a likelihood that he has stoppers in those. So if I were north and wanted to bid 3 no Trump, I would want to have at least something like a queen jack third in each minor. All right, so now we know south is 5-5 five, five, or even 6-5. So how many minor suit cards does he have now? Now he has only three cards in the minors. So let's just look at the distribution of South's hand. He has five spades, five hearts, and some number of little cards totaling three in the minors. There's his hand, his distribution. 2, 1, maybe 3, 0, 2, 1, 1, 2 in the minors. But now we have to find room for 18 points, too. So what would he have in spades? Well, most likely he's got two spade honors. He's bidding pretty strongly for not having his honors in his suits. <coughs> so let's give him a good heart holding, at least ace-queen, if not ace-king-queen. Actually, I'll tell you how I'll do it this way. I'll just use H for honors. Two honors or so in hearts. All right. So that would give him five points in spades, as many as seven points in hearts. That's 12. 
He's still got six points somewhere. So that means in the minors, he has an ace or a king-queen or something like that. If he has a third heart honor, his spade suit is not that great. Even if he has this kind of a heart holding, that's still only 14 points. He still needs four more points. So guess what? He's got an ace in one of the minors or more. Something like that. Or ace doubleton in a small club. Or even ace third in a void. Is that the kind of a hand that would bid the way south bid? It's 18 points. And even if you make that a king x of clubs, 17 points is still possible. It's the most points he can have in spades. So he's got to make most of his other 18 points up in hearts, which means he's going to have to have a really good heart honors. If he bids four hearts, he's basically telling his partner, I want to play this in either hearts or spades. So he's telling his partner he's got a fifth heart. Partner, take your choice, spades or hearts. You never deliberately distort the distribution in order to reverse. In other words, if I'm 5-5, five, five, in the majors with 18 points. I would never bid a heart and then later bid spades because that would distort the distribution. It would make it look like I had more hearts than spades. When you're, when you're bidding two suits like this, you can either reverse or you can jump shift. Those two bids are exactly the same except that one case the first suit is higher ranking, in the other case, the second suit is higher ranking. But otherwise, they have exactly the same meaning. So don't ever distort the bidding for the purpose of reversing. Just if your higher ranking suit is the longest one, then just jump shift into the other one. The heart rebid does not promise six spades because he could have five five. If he has that hand I just typed in, five spades, five hearts, and two one in the minors, that would be a spade, then two hearts, which would show four, and then, well, three hearts, and then the second heart bid would show a fifth heart. So it doesn't promise six spades. He could have six spades, but it doesn't promise it. So the, the heart bid is not because he's expecting his partner to have promised something in hearts. It's simply that he's saying he doesn't want to play it in no trump, and he doesn't want to play it in a minor. Partner, take your choice of the majors could end up in a 5-2 fit still. So already we have a pretty pretty solid picture of what South Sand looks like. Now if I had just done this without any discussion and shown you the auction, at this point you would say, okay, South's um, probably 5-5 five, five in the major. He's got around 17 to 19 points. And that's really all you would have thought about. All right? Now you've thought about where the honors are, what his minor suit distribution is, and it could still be 3-0, but you know, just the most common, of course, would be 2-1. And we don't know which suit would be 2 or which would be 1, but we do know a, a general idea of what his minor suit distribution looks like. So now you have really a good picture of the south hand. A really good picture of it. You practically know every honor in his hand, except you don't know whether that's the ace of diamonds or the ace of clubs. But he pretty much has to have that in order to have enough points. Okay, so now let's talk about North's hand. What does North have very specifically? Well, he preferred hearts to spades. 
So he has at most two spades. He never raised spades at all, so he can't have more than two spades. Okay, he has <coughs> at most. Uh, sorry, he has to have at least two hearts because he left the heart bid in. If he was, for example, one one in the majors, I would still go back to the first bid suit because it could be longer. And we know his minors consist of, let's see, if he's got um, up to four cards in the majors, then he's got nine cards in the minors, so we don't know which one is longer, but we do know that he's got some kind of a distribution. And by the way, he made no attempt to, to bid a minor. He just bid no trump, so he doesn't have a super long minor. So his minors are fairly even. So that's what Norse hands look like. Now, how many points does he have? Well, at this point, we're pretty sure he has like six to nine or so points, six to even 12, and that his points are mostly in the minors. He has, he just doesn't have enough cards in the majors to have many points in them. So I would expect his holding to consist of Maybe an honor in hearts, unknown, and at least an honor, maybe a second one, in one of the minors. Let's just make some random distribution of this. Okay, so he's got his six to nine points in a few kings and queens scattered around the minors, maybe a heart. His partner has shown 20 points. He has no interest in slam. So even with um, 12 points, he isn't making any attempt. So I don't expect him to have maybe honor double to maybe if you're lucky, honor third in hearts. He can't have four hearts because he would have raised that immediately. So that's what I think the hands look like. Now, I'm going to type these hands in again. Only this time I'm going to do it this way. Here's what I think North has. And there's what I think South has. So I line them up that way, just so it's like the hand and declares hand and the dummy above it. Tell me how he's going to play this hand. Hearts is Trump. It's going to win whatever you lead. I would, Mary, because it's still possible that South has six spades and five hearts. So if I were 2-2, two, two, I would take the preference to spades. So I expect, that's why I put three hearts for um, North, because I expect he will have more hearts than spades, not equal. Right, he's going to draw Trump and set up spades. Figuring to lose, maybe a diamond, a club, and the ace of spades. <coughs> okay, now, what does partner have? And, you know, knowing that we're off, those X's could be a little bit different than I've drawn them, but just let's use that as an example and say if that's the actual holding, what does partner have? One or two spades. Three is possible, but uh, odds on it's not 3-0 split. 
So we'll say probably one or two spades. How many hearts? Probably three. Part because declare has five. North most likely has three. And R2 is 10, so that leaves at most three for east. Probably three. Okay, what does our partner have in the minors? That would leave him with eight cards in the minors. Probably pretty evenly divided, depending a little bit on how Norths are divided. Partner is probably pretty evenly divided in the minors as well. And how many points does partner have? Well, we're expecting roughly 18 in the south. And it's hard to tell, but let's just take a middle of the road number like 8 in the north. That's 26. How many do we have? So 26 plus our, uh, what do we have here, 6 would be 32. That would leave somewhere around 7 or 8 or 9 for partner. Now yeah, partner could have as many as even 8 or 9, depending on how many North has. <coughs> All right, so partner's probably got a trick over there. Maybe even two, who knows? what is holding in the minors is. So where are we going to get four tricks to set this? Well, we're going to get the ace of spades. That's very likely anyway, unless north is void. Partner is going to get a trick or two in the minors. Can partner rough spades? Well, we're figuring that partner has how many two to three spades? So probably not. North is going to be shorter in spades than partner is. Right. So it looks like we need to get one or two tricks in the minors, ace of spades, and another spade trick, I guess. Partner could have the ace king of clubs, and declare could have ace doubleton diamond. We don't know that part yet. But we've looked at north-south hands together, and we've already figured out He's going to want to rough some spades in the dummy. Okay, partner's tricks will come from the minors, maybe a spade rough. If partner has a trump honor, that's possible, although unlikely. North, sorry, south pretty much needs all of those points to have his bid. So if he doesn't have, let's say, the king of spades and has the king of diamonds instead, that's possible, but. But basically, Declare is going to need to rough a bunch of spades. I mean, he's probably looking at his spade suit thinking, yeah, I'll set the spades up. But, you know, trump out a couple of them and set up the rest of them. He doesn't know about the bad spade split. But you do. So you have to do what you can to stop him from trumping spades so that you can win some of those spade tricks. And how do you do that? Mary said it. Prevent the roughs. Carly said it. So this is a hand that calls for a trump lead. Okay, let's lead a trump. And now we get to see the dummy. We've gotten a huge amount of information from the auction. We already know everybody's distribution. 
North is something like one or two spades, three hearts, and eight or nine cards in the minors. Partner is probably about two spades, three hearts, and something like four four in the minors. South is five spades, five hearts, and two one or so in the minors. Plus or minus a spot card here or there. We already know the entire distribution of the entire hand, what everybody's got. We know what honors they have to a, to a limited amount. We know what their distribution is, and we know how Declare is going to play the hand. And we haven't even seen the dummy yet. So let's see the dummy. Right on, exactly what you would expect from this auction. All right, now we get to refine this a little bit. Now we know exactly what North has. So what exactly does Partner have? Partner has three, uh, two spades, possibly one if it's a 6-5 and in the South. But if, I tell you, if I were 6-5, I'd be looking for slam. So Partner, let's assume Partner has two spades. Okay, you're looking at um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's got three hearts. You're looking at eight diamonds. And Declare can't have more than three, but probably only has one or two. So Partner has three or four diamonds. And five clubs, you're looking at seven total. Declare can't have more than one or two, so partner has to have at least four, maybe five clubs. So we know we already know what partner's hand is, right? He's got two small spades. He's got three small hearts. Notice the jack is in the dummy. And he's got like honors in the minors. And that's his distribution, plus or minus one spot card in the minors, each minor suit. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, now what can you tell me? Partner wants a club back. Well, we're not going to be on lead, but... All right, the Ace, King, Queen of Hearts are definitely in the South. Pretty much knew that already, but that confirms it. Also, what about the Ten of Hearts? Well, we don't know that because with the Jack Nine and the Dummy, we can't be sure. If Partner had the Ten of Hearts, he would have played it though, right? So Sal started with the Ace, King, Queen, Ten, Seven of Hearts. Where, why do you think partner has three di three hearts? Tell us, Mary, because you're right. Tell us how you know. But how? But how because of? All right, where's the two of hearts? That's one of those little tiny pieces of information that's flinging around the table that nobody grabs. Where's the two of hearts? Partner has it, right? So why does he play the three instead of the two? Because it's a trump count signal showing middle low, not high low, but middle low. 
showing an odd number. Well, that's okay. We already knew he had three, but now we know exactly which hearts he's got because we know he can't have the ace, king, queen, or ten. The only hearts he could have are the four, three, two. And sure enough, the three would be the right card to play from that. So partner had the four, three, two of hearts, exactly like, I don't know your, this person's name. Takreem says, why do I know that partner has the two and not the declare? Why would declare play the seven if he had the two? Well, to some extent, it's true declares false card. When I'm teaching classes, I don't because that really distorts your ability to figure things out, which is, of course, the point of them. But I, I don't, I won't be false carding unless I tell you I might be false carding. So you can assume partner has the two and he played the three. So already we know the entire heart suit around the table just from trick one. Okay, now what do we know? Well, we already knew that partner had two spades, right? But now we know where the 10 is. His two spades didn't include the 10. That's something worth knowing. Declare has to have the king queen for his bid. In order to have 18 points, he needs the king queen at his base. Well, obviously, what's Declare doing here? He's hoping to knock out the ace that way. But now that that didn't work, what's he going to do next? We don't give attitude signals in Trump. Trump signals are always count. And Trump count signals are a little different than standard count signals. Yeah, partner is going to get the lead back and trump a couple spades, planning to set up his king-queen. Probably take a, a roughing finesse next. So what should we lead back? Another heart. Hang on, I have a, somebody at the door. Give me just a second here. So it's going to take a roughing finesse in spades. Should you cover this or not? Well, there's no reason not to, really, because as soon as he roughs this, he's got nothing but the queen left, and then you've got the big ones and he's out of Trump. So you might as well go ahead and let him rough that. Now he's in the dummy. Got back to his hand and wants to cash his spade. So 
finish drawing Trump. You, of course, are going to hang on to your spades. Remember, he hasn't gotten the bad news about the bad split yet, either. He's about to get that right now. So now, really, there's not much he can do. You're getting two spade tricks. He can make an attempt to get to the dummy and use his good jack of clubs. But guess what? What honors does partner have? This is the third minor suit card from the south hand. This is his last minor suit card. So partner has to have the ace, queen of diamonds, and the king of clubs, because those are left. Declare has no more minor suit cards. Got two hearts and two spades left. So we can safely put in the jack, knowing that partner has the ace and queen. Hang on to those spades. Anyone have any questions? Okay, you can do this, okay? I didn't do anything to do. Ah, there's the question I've been waiting for. <laughs> I didn't do anything that you can't do. But it's hard. It's really hard to do all this. So there are a couple of things you can do to help out. One is learn your distributions. See how fast I type those? I didn't have to do any arithmetic to do those, because I've got them memorized. And I'm telling you right now, if you get those distributions up to about the sevens, memorize them. like Just like you memorize poetry back in elementary school. Just repeat it over and over, write it over and over, whatever, until you know them. You don't have to think about them, and you don't have to do arithmetic. Then you can start picturing the south hand as 5521-5512 or 5530. And you don't have to like say, okay, he had five spades and then he had five hearts and so on. So that's one thing you can do. The counting game is good practice. And if you go to my website down to the bottom right, there's a link that'll take you to a page with all those distributions on it. You can find them that way easily. So that's one thing you can do. Number two, practice. This is not easy to do. It's not easy to remember things. It's not easy to think about all the different kinds of information you can be getting. So you can do lots of things. You can uh, get together, four of you, and just agree that we're going to do this. We're going to play some hands where everybody's allowed to think for as long as they want or help each other with the thinking about it. You can play against the bots. The bots don't care how long you think. So practice will make you faster. <coughs> you don't have time to do this at the table tomorrow at your local club, because you're not fast enough at it yet. But do what you can. Try to do it. And I know there's always pressure to, to move, especially in a live game. And even on BBO, people are always yelling faster, faster at you. 
So find ways to practice where you're not in a rush and work at doing this. And it will get easier and it will get a lot faster. I mean, it doesn't take me most of an hour to do this on a hand. I do it in about a minute or a minute and a half at the beginning of the hand. Well, you know what? I'm no better than you guys are. I've just been doing it longer. You know, I've been practicing it longer. So that's all you have to do, really. So we'll do some more of this kind of stuff, basically practicing this for the next three more times, three more sessions, and then it gets into the holiday season. So we're just going to do four of these, and then we'll see maybe later we'll do some more. Practice it. Try it. And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to email me. My email is also on my website. So does anybody have any more questions other than how do you, how much time do you take to do it? How do you do it fast enough? And thank you, Babs, for all your help on, on uh, setting this up. The bots do not give signals, so you don't have that aspect of them if you're playing against the bots. But that doesn't stop you from taking the time to think out who's got how many of what from the auction. So you may not, even from your own bot, you don't get that signal information, but you get all the rest. So we'll work some more on it, but meanwhile, give it a try. Try practicing it a little bit, even, even the starting part of it, just for what you can get from the auction. And then the rest of it, you'll start to see these things. If you know to look for them, you'll start to see them. So anyway, thank you, Babs. I will see you guys all hopefully next week.